Well, it's time for another mailbag. All right, folks, today, mailbag. I have to confess, I've opened it already. Let's take a look inside and see what we got. First mailbag is, uh, let's see if this helps. Uh, all right, first mailbag is the Sonar DG. Uh, make sure, yep, yeah, it is. It is the Zonar DG. Comes in the uh, package like this. It's a uh, 5.1 surround sound card from Asus. So the uh, the Zonar DG, yeah, Asus. It uh, comes in this package. Looks like that. Opening up the package, you can see that we have a sound card. And uh, I'll just uh, get it out that I'm buying a lot of sound cards. I just, they're very cheap and they're actually not even needed. But what if you had a second one? Let's set up a couple. Let's get a couple going. So uh, this is what it looks like. It's a low profile card, but it did not come. Oh, yeah, it did. It came with a low profile adapter. I'm going to probably use this in one of my sound uh, media machines. The low profile adapter itself is pretty good. This one does have an SPDIF uh, output, uh, so the laser toss link output. Just an output. I wish it didn't make so much noise. I know there's a lot of background noise. I have yet to fully figure out what I'm going to do about that. Uh, even with a Lavalier mic, uh, I might have some issues with that. But uh, it comes in a crinkly package. What can I do? Uh, so what else is included in this unboxing? Well, we've got uh, the, uh, the driver disc. Very classic. Uh, it has some safety information. And a VIP uh, member warranty notice that's extremely thick. Uh, I've never seen a more thick uh, warranty notice. It's probably also the manual. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, it's just in many languages. So that's the warranty notice, and then a very slim manual down in here, uh, possibly also in several languages. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Asus. Very nice packaging. Uh, it is what it is. So I'll look forward to installing that at some point. We'll check that out together when I get around to it very soon, I think. All right, so we're back. I like this anyway. You get to see all the crazy stuff I have, like my uh, vacuum display for fluorescence uh, clock and uh, my uh, Taiwanese uh, elephant, my collection of, of large Stormtrooper toys. I have those. Uh, I am a fan of Star Wars to some extent. Han Solo, one of my favorite characters from the series. Uh, not when I was a kid. I really liked Luke Skywalker. But... Of course. Uh, and uh, uh, Chewie I didn't really care for, actually, when I was a kid. But now he's kind of grown on me. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got. So, uh, we covered that last time. Uh, all right, let's see what's in the Turtles box. So, uh, kind of neat. They put this... Uh, this is an Amazon box. They did put uh, some Nickelodeon uh, uh, stuff on it. I, I, I've got the box here. See what we got here. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, this is a box that says Energon, and what it is is it's a replacement for my Wasabi Power. Uh, uh, last time I kind of complained about this uh, battery charger that I have. It's actually working again. I don't know. There must be a loose connection inside, but it started working little frustrating there so I bought another battery charger for the same type of Sony battery kinda neat very low profile not designed in the same manner uh, this is the Energon dual uh, NB XP1 battery I think that's what it is or NPBX1 I think is actually it NPBX1 Sony battery type and it's got these lovely little boxes, and inside each box is yet another battery. I didn't really want the batteries, but uh, it was more cost-effective to get additional batteries. So now I have like eight of those batteries. I'll be using those for my camera. Let's see what this is. So there's a disc in here. Seems... 
What is this? It's a pseudo anti static bag or something. Or I guess it's an anti static bag inside of bubble wrap. What do we have here? Oh, very tiny land card. So this is also, I'm hoping to put in the machines. I, I just have to experiment. It has a low profile kit as well as a uh, antenna in the bag. This was $15. I'm not really sure why it was so expensive, considering you can buy a USB stick. I guess it's because they're a little bit rare. But we'll be using those to uh, Wi-Fi enable those sound machines. I can only pick one, I believe. Either this or the sound card, so I'm going to have to decide on that. But uh, that's definitely part of the deal. I got a package of uh, 10 of these. Uh, they're known as quarter inch to uh, mono. They're mono quarter inch to RCA. I'm going to use this for uh, adapting that kind of uh, uh, barrel socket in uh, one of my projects. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we have two pole switches, so not three pole, but two pole. The simplest switch you can buy. I'm going to open this up. If it'll let me. So switches come in a variety of of different you know makes and models, as do barrel jacks. Uh, if you're going to do any audio electronics yourself, you're going to have to deal with some of these realities. And uh, wow, getting that open is tough. Let me see if I can find a knife or something. I don't have a knife, but I have this. Let's see how this works out. So, so uh, they look like this, uh, very tiny little switch, and it has uh, basically two settings. So one setting is that way, and the other setting is that way, and on the bottom it only has two poles. So uh, very simple, uh, it looks like they use the same form factor to handle uh, three pole switches. I have tons of three pole switches. Uh, and those kind of throw me off like a, a three pole switch. What's, what's the third pole for? Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I had exactly the switches I needed. I picked these up. They're not illuminated or anything. Illuminated means that they have a light in them. Uh, we have another one of those Wi-Fi cards. I guess I got two. I'm not sure why. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, and then... Uh, you can't really see what's in there, but let me open it up. Uh, inside, I have a tiny little barrel jack that's got a breakout. So, this is a uh, eighth inch stereo jack. Actually, it might be mono. Well, it has sleeve ring one, ring two, and tip. So that, to me, suggests that it's stereo. Again, doing audio, you have lots of options. I have six, uh, it's like a dip six version, which has a total of, I think, 11 pins on it. Uh, so there's a lot going on with that one. I think that one has a bypass. Uh, and I have to learn a little bit more about how these things work. But uh, I have those. Uh, I have these. Uh, I have another set of uh, two pole switches. So I guess I got 20 all together. Yeah, 20 all together. And uh, that's for a couple of passive projects I have lined up involving a really cool passive mixer design that I'm working on that I'm probably going to open source. All right, uh, this box, uh, I won't show you the cover, but it's from a place called Tune Tracker Systems in Wisconsin. Uh, Oconto, or Oconto, Wisconsin. And if I bop in here, I actually have already removed the packing peanuts. Uh, Along with LGR, I'm not a huge fan. Now, I do see, actually, a scrape on this board, but uh, it, it probably functions okay. It's just got a little bit of a missing uh, bit of, of uh, well, there's a couple of scrapes. 
But it should be all right. Uh, this is a Sound Blaster Live. And basically looks like that has kind of a lot going for it as far as uh, Sound Blasters go. It has uh, no uh, laser uh, inputs, however. And that's kind of problematic, but uh, it's fine for now. Uh, it looks like one of the jumper pins is also bent, but hopefully that doesn't matter. Well, not in the best condition, but it was seven dollars. Uh, really bad solder job. I don't know if you can see that if I get real close, but there is a uh, there is a really globby solder thingy right there. Uh, wait, am I showing it to you right? Maybe. You see that oscillator? It's the silver thing. It's shiny. And up there, you can see a little little thing right there where the light is. That is a uh, a huge glob of solder. I guess that's intentional. Maybe it's a repair. I don't know. But uh, this was claimed to work. Uh, Sound Blaster Live. It's uh, it doesn't look like PCI. E. Uh, it might just be PCI. Could be. Could be part of a ISA, but I don't think it's ISA. To look that up. And I think this is the last one for today's mailbag. This is from KGY in Bayun District, Guangzhouzi, Guangdong. And it's socket connectors for Nixie tubes uh, in, a, in a belt sort of uh, delivery package. I don't know about this one. Uh, they seem a little bit tiny to me. So maybe I'm buying the wrong stuff. But Anyway, it's always good to have a few new connectors. I'm not sure when I ordered that either. So maybe it's not even for Nixie Tubes. But thanks so much for watching uh, yet another mailbag. Uh, if you like to see mailbags and you like to see builds and retroness and gaming and you want to uh, learn how to program games and if you're interested in tiny houses and architecture and 3D printing and just a long list of makey stuff, uh, please go to our Patreon, subscribe to this channel, like it, and hit the bell. Uh, the Retro Friends appreciate your efforts and will in turn give you our efforts. Well,